Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I uh, got some run plays for you. A run scheme out of one of my favorite playbooks, the 49ers. Uh, this is a playbook. I know a lot of people were asking for it. I just finished it. I just posted it on my website uh, maybe a couple days ago. It, it, it really blew me away. I was really surprised. It was one of the largest playbooks that I made all year. I think the Raiders might be larger. Maybe the Ravens, uh, which are two playbooks that I probably use a little bit more. Uh, but the 49ers playbook, man, this it really blew me away with how large this book is, especially when it comes to the run plays. I mean, it has one of the biggest I-form sets, seven different formations in it, uh, which I-form, to me, is always one of the best uh, formations to use. Uh, that I mean, it's to me, probably single back and shotgun have the most plays. I-form is probably third. And when it comes to running, I-form is probably the, one of the best. It might be the best out of all these formations anyway. So I haven't put out a run, uh, run formation in a while, and I really wanted to highlight this particular playbook. Um, I did, however, finish a couple different ebooks. If you guys, for people that have been asking, Niners has been one of the most requested. Steelers has been one of the most requested. I finished that. Panthers has been one of the most requested. So if you haven't checked out my new ebooks, I got a whole new line. All those links are in the description below. Or you can just go to madmoneyshot.com uh, and check out all the books that are done. But I'm about halfway done with the, all the playbooks in the in the entire game this year. So check that out. Other than that, let's go, let's go right into the video. The I form wing is the formation. And like I said, I, I, to me, I could easily do a part two out of this. I probably got like at least eight to ten plays out of justice formation so if you want to see a part two maybe tomorrow maybe sunday i uh, was some of the uh the passing plays out of this formation hit the like button and let me know in the comment section i'm not really sure i don't typically put out videos on sundays so i could also put out on monday uh, although i have something else planned for that so ultimately like i said this might just be on my patreon or on my uh join now community button uh but it's a really good formation so if you want to see that check that out so i went ahead and i put all the run plays in the audibles and i'll show you guys what to look for uh, when picking the plays. So the audible plays are real simple. The fullback dive, which you guys probably saw as I was motioning through, that's one of my favorite. You typically want to put a running back at the fullback spot, but I'm not going to have time to do that because I'm going through the audibles. I'm going to keep my blocking back, uh, which is a pretty good option. I got a pretty good fullback on this team. Uh, the fullback fake halfback toss is also one of them. The halfback power O, and then last but not least is the stretch alert X lookies. So the reason I put these plays in my audibles uh, rather than just go through them one by one uh, is because I really want to go over what to look for when it comes to switching over to these plays. Uh, because you have such a heavy set formation to one side and pretty much all these plays are specific to a certain defensive look, uh, you can really, you know, based off of what you're looking at when you come out to the huddle, you can pick a play right away. So I'm going to start off with a stretch alert looky because it looks like we probably have a cover three, either, either a cover three or man coverage. So if it's a man coverage, the slant is the way to go anytime and i can tell based off of the box safety it's probably not it's probably a cover three which is great because like i said the stretch is really a good cover three play stretches versus cover threes cover fours anything where the cornerback drops back right when you hike the ball which is what's going to happen here if you're watching that is going to be a really easy play and you can see i mean it just basically i mean he, he lit me up there because i got uh, jamal adams all cover threes and cover fours are weak outside because these cornerbacks take themselves out of the play and you know you can see right off the bat he's about what i start at the 50 so he's about 10 yards deep before he realizes he has to turn around so that's something that's always going to be advantage to me and that's going to be the reason that i'm always going to hand it off and go with this stretch play against these defenses i mean look how how much space I have out here and if you have any man coverage looks which uh, since there's only one receiver you typically aren't going to have a defined read on uh, but if your opponent's running a lot of man uh, obviously the slant's going to be the way to go slants are very good against man I do I run stretch alert likes lookies on the goal line typically because that's typically you see a lot of man coverages there so on this particular look it looks like a cover two now in cover twos they're specifically weak up the middle mostly because one of the safeties is back so ultimately I'm typically going to go with the, either the fullback dive or the halfback power O. Now the halfback power O I have a very specific look that I'm looking for so I'm not going to go to that right now. So ultimately the fullback dive on a play like this makes the most sense. So since we have those two safeties back deep you can see right here really weak up the middle. So you can see how we're averaging 10 a clip plus every time. Real simply like I said fullback dive really good against cover twos really good against man uh, one man cover two anything where there's two deep safeties that's typically going to be uh, the best time to run the fullback dive. You got your stretch alert X looky which you got your your man receive 
your man receiver, the slant, and then you have the, the, the stretch itself, which is good against cover threes and cover fours. Then you have the halfback power up. Now, this is something that if you want to run it like this, you can. I find it's typically best, uh, if you have a spread formation, to flip the play with your right stick and really run it, uh, you know, you're basically going to run it like a counterplay, which counterplays are some of the best run plays in the game, but not a lot of people really know how to run them properly anyway. Uh, but ultimately, all I'm really going to do is I'm going to read that edge defender, and if he stops... I'm going to go outside. If he comes down and crashes down to try to try to tackle the running back, I'm going to go inside once the blocker gets across. So you can see right here, very aggressive. Blocker comes across, and you can see we have a really easy run. I mean, every run we're running right now, we're getting like 10, 20 yards. We just have to know the reads. Now, this is a much better play when it comes to the power out. You can see the spacing that we have. The defensive ends out really far. You don't typically get this look against 3-4s. You get it more against 4-3 looks, which I think 4-3s are very popular this year. Uh, but you can see this defensive ends out really far. He's going to take himself out of the play 9 times out of 10. That's the time where I really want to flip this play and go for this halfback power out. And you can see right there, I mean, the, the second blocker didn't do his job. Let's go to the replay real quick, though, and show you what could have happened because ultimately... Um, it really got blown up by the fact that that defensive player or that second blocker really didn't do his job. But like I said, this guy being out far like that typically is going to take himself out of the play. And that's exactly what happened. As you can see, the block comes across. Just like I'm saying, if he's aggressive, you got to go inside of that block. If he hesitates, you got to go outside of that block. He can go to the edge right away. Now, the problem was, I mean, that's probably Bobby Wagner, uh, which is probably why this didn't work out. No, it's KJ Wright. Still a really good linebacker, bottom line. But this guy right here, this fullback here, uh, really just blew right past him. I, I mean, that's something that uh, he's supposed to seal that block and, and spring me but still you can see if that would have worked out look at all the space that i would have had before i got to those two safeties so you're always going to want to look try to find that uh that power o uh look right there we got the defensive end out wide we got that dt uh the spacing's too far apart with spacing like that comes opportunity that plus the fact this is obviously not a cover three based off of the way the cornerbacks are so i mean you can just make your reads i can go with the fullback dive also uh but to me the power o is probably the more explosive of the two and you can see once again i mean i'm really close to breaking these i just have to you know basically uh pick through the trash a little bit better uh but you can see there's just some very good plays. So last but not least, uh, to hit this particular play, the, uh, the the fullback fake halfback toss, that's really going to be best if your opponent, which I don't control the computer right now, but if they're shifting, uh, if they're overly shifting to the two tight end side, that's going to be the best time. With that, with that linebacker there uncovered like that, he's probably going to make the play, although there you can see he got tripped up a little bit. But anytime that they're really shifting to the strong side to try to take away the runs to that side, that's going to be the best time to hit him with the toss. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more uh, plays from this, like I said, I got passing plays for, out of this. It's a really good formation for that as well, surprisingly. Uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.